Campbell CAR stands for the Campbell University Child Care and Activity Resource. It's a resource for anyone caring for children and offers ideas to keep kids, parents, and teachers active and healthy. Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine Noonan. I'm a professor at Campbell University and the director of the Campbell University Child Care and Activity Resource, or Campbell CAR. Today I'm talking with Dr. Jennifer Bunn, an associate professor at Campbell, an exercise physiologist, and a mom. So Dr. Bunn, could you start us off by telling us a little bit about why exercise is important and how it benefits us? So exercise has two really big glaring importances right away. One, it reduces risk for all-cause mortality, so dying from anything. And then two, reduces risk for morbidity. So things like chronic disease related to type 2 diabetes, um, any metabolic conditions, some causes of cancer, and you know, cardiovascular disease, things like that. Additionally, um, it will also improve mood and just state of mind. So um, people that participate in exercise have reduced incidences of depression and anxiety. So those are two um, big areas in particular that the United States population, we're spending a lot of extra pharmaceutical money on um, antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications, as well as treatment of chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. And I know you're a really big believer in the impact of exercise on your work. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? So it can improve some focus and work and um, a lot of the companies who've actually instituted um, corporate wellness into their you know day-to-day -day activities for their employees have seen um, reduced absenteeism and um, just improvement in productivity. Mm -hmm. So while you, they're not necessarily working any more hours, in fact, sometimes they're even working less, like if they're getting 30 minutes worth of release time each day to do some activity, the productivity even goes up further. Mm -hmm. And they spend less money on healthcare costs as a company as well. Mm -hmm. And how often should adults be exercising? How much time should they spend on that? So right now, the physical activity guidelines from the American College of Sports Medicine in conjunction with the American Heart Association indicate 150 minutes of cardiovascular exercise for moderate intensity work. So this is things like walking at a pretty good pace where you can still talk. Okay. Um, you can interchange that intensity with doing um, vigorous intensity exercise for 75 minutes per week. Okay. And so this is stuff that your heart rate is really elevated and you probably can't carry on a conversation quite as easily. Um, and then you can roll some resistance training into that and the recommendation right now with resistance training is getting all body parts done um, within each training session about two to three times per week. However, I will say this, that there's been a task force assigned to um, addressing changing these guidelines because okay. these guidelines have been around for a decade now. And I think we're going to see some incorporation of light physical activity okay. into this. Um, additionally, they say most days a week right now and trying to accumulate 30 minutes per day. Um, we'll see, and that 30 minutes can be accumulated through little 10 minute exercise bouts. I think we'll see these exercise bouts go down in number two, and so you can get more frequent, smaller bouts. Hmm, interesting. And when you say resistance training, is that like lifting weights? Lifting weights, uh, Pilates, yoga often counts as uh, doing body weight work and stuff like that as well. Okay. And in your opinion, um, do you think there's any particular benefits to parents of maintaining regular exercise? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, first and foremost, it's important to take care of yourself. You want to be there for your child. You want to live a long time and see them do wonderful things. You want to participate in their activities. Um, exercise helps you stay healthy to be able to do that, to be able to go have a catch with your kid or play one-on-one -on -one basketball or whatever it is with them. Mm -hmm. Additionally, you're always setting an example for your child, whether you want to or not. And right, so right. if the example is sitting on the couch, that's what your child sees and that's what they think is gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole goal here is to try and set a positive example towards a healthy lifestyle to help your child see what a healthy lifestyle looks like. Yeah, and I think that um, can be important for parents to know that sometimes it's not enough to do it for ourselves, but if we recognize that we're also setting an example for our kids, I think you know for some parents that's a stronger message. I, whatever it takes <laughs> to get you motivated. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know that I'm a happier me and I'm a calmer parent and a more focused parent whenever I've had my workout in. I'm a better spouse that day mm -hmm. as well. Um, and I, I feel good that my child has seen or heard about me doing some exercise participation that day. 
Um, if you incorporate kids into a workout, that's always really fun. But if that's you time, mm -hmm. I totally understand. <laughs> Nobody's going to scoff at that. But it's a really good time to invite kids into seeing what exercise is for an adult and for a healthy lifespan. Mm -hmm. um, do you exercise with your kids? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do sometimes, but to be honest with you, the majority of my exercise and the way that I have it scheduled is that I do resistance training. I, I, uh, I don't take a lunch mm -hmm. so that I can get resistance training into the middle of my workout or mm -hmm. into the middle of my work day. Um, but if I'm working out at home or something like that, um, then yes, I will invite her anytime I'm coming to do exercise activity. Um, my child is, I have a four year old daughter. She, in particular, loves playing with resistance bands. Um, <laughs> giant rubber bands. Giant rubber bands. That's <laughs> always a good time. Um, she enjoys trying to hop on the um, bike that we have at home and trying to ride. And granted, she cannot sit on it, <laughs> but it's, it's a good fun. time. Um, and so, I feel like it's important that she sees that and we invite her into it. Um, she's definitely served as extra resistance during push-ups <laughs> for me. Um, she's tried to do push-ups on her own as well. She does sit-ups on her own. Um, and then we make games out of some exercise sometimes where she and I will create different types of races. Um, we do all kinds of different footwork. Hmm, sounds like you're having fun at your house. It ends up in a lot of really good activity and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> giggles are good. Giggles are good. Um, now, some of the people listening to this video um, might be childcare professionals or, or people who work in other fields that are very physically demanding. So, do you have any suggestions for those people who really know that they want to exercise and they need to exercise, but they come home at the end of the day and they're just exhausted? So, I, the first thing I would say is, are you doing a lot of activity, actual real deal activity that could be classified as maybe light to moderate um, exercise during your work day? Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then you may not need a lot of extra outside of your work day. If it is very low level, um, just kind of standing, changing diapers or something like that, I'm not downgrading that, but that's not gonna get your heart rate up and provide the cardiovascular benefit that you would get from exercise. So if it's something along those lines and you come home very, very tired, I would say first, don't sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that couch, that recliner will be just like suction on you and you won't want to get back up. Mm -hmm. um, so put your things down and go get your exercise in right away. It will be hard um, to motivate yourself to do that first thing, but I can guarantee it that 99% of the time, after you do a 10 minute bout, of, whether it's you just go outside for a walk, mm -hmm. you will feel more energetic when you're three. Mm -hmm. If you are not, then you are probably truly fatigued. Mm -hmm. And sleep should it really be the factor then of consideration. Mm -hmm. That so. should be your priority. Yes. Thanks for hopping in the Campbell car. We'll see you next time.